Hello, welcome to the studio on this lovely summer solstice evening. Um, today I'm going to show you how I crop my work. So I have a series of four pieces that are coming towards the end. Um, I've nearly finished them and I'm going to crop them down in slightly different ways. So sometimes I leave um, collaged edges sticking out, sometimes I leave marks that have gone over the edges of the print on, sometimes I like to crop right down to the edge of the print. Um, and it's a really integral part of how I make my pieces and how I start to think about them as objects and pieces of art and also how I can really see them and view them, especially towards the end of making them. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Uh, if you like the video, um, press like, subscribe to the channel, it all helps. Um, and if you want to see more work or see what self-paced video courses I offer, please go to ruthander.co.uk. So today I just thought I would show you how and why I crop down my prints. Um, so what I'm just, this is one that I have had framed up and this is generally how I um, frame them. Float mounted, which means it's just sticking up a little bit from the back mount board and all the edges showing. And sometimes I've, when I've collaged over um, the I just leave the piece of collage sort of sticking over the edge. Um, so I need my edges to look good. And it really is almost part of the piece, the way that I uh, crop my pieces down. Um, and you'll see why. Um, so, for instance, on this piece here, I've gone right over the edge of the original dry point print. Um, so I'm going to need to show that, or I'd like to show that. Sometimes I don't always want to, but in this case I do. Um, the idea with printmaking generally, um, traditional printmaking, is that you place your plate down perfectly um, and you have registration marks and so that all of this area is exactly even and the way you want it. However, I don't always do that. So, uh, And then I work on them afterwards as well. So what I often find is that I have to crop them down to the way I want them and sometimes that's right up to the edge of the print sometimes it's a little bit away to show these areas here that I've added on um, sometimes it might be to allow for um, some of the collage that's gone over the edge to, to show there and then to sort of even up the edges so I'll just show you this series of four is going hopefully to be shown in an art trail this weekend. So I need to crop them down. Um, what, um, well, I'll show you, I'll show you as I go along, I think is the best thing. Sometimes I do this before I've slightly finished because it helps me to see what I'm working with really and um, helps me to see the picture. Um, so as, as long as I sort of vaguely know how I'm going to crop it, I can then keep working on them. So it's not always the end point that I do this at. So this one here, I want to show this this red area, drawn area. I've got a, just over about a centimetre at the bottom here. And that is that is my width-wise the shortest, the smallest amount of space. So I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to even up this area, these each area here. So I tend to just do this by eye. Uh, because if it looks about right, it's probably about right. And actually, sometimes, of course, um, that you know, n not doing it by eye can look a bit odd, especially if the print itself is a bit wonky anyway. <laughs> you want to do it so it looks good rather than measures well. So I've guessed that to be about the right same width as, as this here. And I'm going to do the same here. And I'm just using my trusty metal ruler here. Um, because this is etching paper um, it rips really well this is what we call a deckled edge um, so I don't need to wet the ruler I don't need to wet the paper it just rips beautifully now this is going to be the difficult one and I may have to finish doing this off video um, this is a very small bit of paper that I just need to take off and I'm going to try and do it without it just completely falling apart and we'll see if it works. I'm just gently easing this, this little tiny sliver of paper away from the ruler. And I'm doing OK so far, nearly there. OK, done. 
So that's what, well, that's allowed for this area of movement and energy here, and yet still kind of keeping the evenness of the picture. And there's a little bit here where that was just a bit difficult to properly do. There's a little bit sticking up, and I'm just going to snip that because you can't really see that when, when you're looking at the picture as a whole. So that's that one. Um, this one here, I'm, I might, I think I will just leave that actually. It's relatively even around the edges. Up, and then I've got this area of collage here at the bottom that I want to keep. I don't want to cut any of that off. Um, and it's about even. So I think I'm going to leave that one as it is. So that will be quite nice sitting in a frame. It'll have a nice expanse of white around the edge of it, um, which is nice. Okay, so this one here. This, by the way, this is all from the same dry point plate, and then they've had different bits of collage and things put into them, so they look quite different. But I've got a little bit of collage sticking out the bottom here on this one, which I would like to keep. And this little margin here is actually very small. It's only about a centimetre, if that. But that is the smallest width of the whole of, of all of these four. So I'm going to have to go down to that size, I think, to make it kind of even up. So I am going to... I've gone, I've gone over the edges a little bit here with collage as well. So I'm going to try and, this is going to be a little bit bigger than a centimetre, but it takes, it allows for all of that collage work to show. And also sometimes I just like to show some little ragged edges of where, like this kind of thing here. You know, I didn't really plan for that, but it's just it's just rather lovely. And I actually find that is actually, really should should be part of the piece itself. Um, I know that's not traditional printmaking. It's not traditional printmaking rules. Um, but if you're looking at the piece as a piece of art, as an object, then um, and that's how I do look at these pieces. And that's why I crop them down like this. Um, then I think you should include all those little ragged bits that you like, that you didn't plan for on the edges. Um, I mean, sometimes this can be very difficult if, if I've really placed it badly on the piece of paper and I have almost no leeway to crop at all, then it can be a bit difficult. In that case, I usually go right to the edge of the print. Um, so there's always a way to deal with things if you've made a mistake or it doesn't, you know, haven't printed it so well. Um, so that will look really nice when that's float mounted, just sitting above the mount card, and this will just float above as well. Um, so this last one here, again, um, I've got some oil marks here, which I'm not that they were a mistake. I don't want those on the piece, so I'm going to try and get rid of those if I can. Um, my shortest width is about a centimeter and a half down here. But then I've also got this piece of collage that goes right up to the edge. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of cut it, crop it down to about that width there so that we're sort of evening up. So actually all I'm going to be doing is cropping this side and this side. I'm going to see if I can do that, getting most of those oil marks off, which I'm not going to be able to quite Let's see if I can manage it. I mean, personally, I don't mind slightly uneven edges. Again, like I say, I'm looking at it as a whole piece of art rather than, you know, have I proven how good I am at, at um, registration marks? <laughs> um, so it doesn't bother me too much as long as the piece has an emotional hit and, and it works um, as an object then that's fine. So yeah, so that's all I'm going to do on that one, just those two edges. And I've managed to keep that nice bit of collage edging off here. I've managed to just about get rid of most of those oil marks. So I've cropped those all quite differently, actually. Um, and they're all slightly different sizes. So that one's small. This is the largest one. Um, and I didn't take anything off that one. And then this one here. And actually, I will probably do a little bit more work on some of these um, now that I can I can often see them a lot better once they've been cropped down to their size. And sometimes I can really see them a lot easier when they're right down to the edge of the plate 
the edge of the, the printing plate um, really helps you to see the composition a lot more easily. Um, and conversely, sometimes having lots of nice white space around can also help. So it's a really nice tool to use when you're coming towards the end of your um, printmaking um, and you just want to see what it will look like, maybe mounted up in a frame and just see the composition a little bit better as well. So there we have it. And hopefully these are going to be mounted up, wrapped up and for sale this weekend.